Hello everyone, Berserker here, and welcome once again to Mountain Blade Warband Anno Domini 1257. Once again, we're gonna continue the story of our character, Knut. And uh, as far as I can remember last time, uh, we were heading to Lund in uh, Denmark, where we're going to attend a tournament. But first of all, uh, let's go and chase these uh, rebels there. We're gonna get an easy fight. Some extra experience, always appreciated. So let's go and do that. Plus, it's basically on my way, like... Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, should be easy to do. Uh, so let's command everyone to hold this position. I'm not gonna go for, like, strategies and stuff like that, because, uh, in battles like this, it's really unnecessary. Oh, I actually want my infantry to go a little bit forward, so that my archers are not that exposed. Yeah, there we go. I think that should be alright. Maybe infantry a little bit forward. Um... There you go. Uh, that should be alright. I really gotta get some better equipment. That's actually why I'm going to this tournament. Hopefully I'm gonna be able to get some amount of money. And I'm gonna be able to buy first of all a helmet. Because this one looks freaking terrible. And also I'm hopefully gonna be able to get rid of this fucking spear. And get something better instead of it. Um, I want like uh, this, this sword is actually alright. But I want a different type of equipment. I think in the first episode I mentioned what type of equipment, uh, what type of equipment I actually want. Um, it would be great if I can have a double, like a two-handed axe. If I can have a uh, a good sword, a shield, and a couple of javelins. Javelins will definitely be the thing that I'm gonna be going for first. Oh, they're they're actually throwing some javelins at us, so we might as well charge. So yeah, let's go and charge. I love being part of the infantry. It doesn't really have a practical use. I'll be much more useful for my army if I'm just commanding them from behind, but, you know, wanna, wanna take part as well. Wanna fight like a real viking, either way. Oh. Okay, I, I don't wanna kill any more guys. Didn't even use my cavalry here. Uh, I actually lost one unit here, but it's, it's, not, it's not that bad. One killed, one looted, these were all recruits, so it shouldn't be a problem at all. Um, this army is actually better than mine. Oh, there we go. So, that was actually a very useful battle since I was able to... You know, it's not a huge upgrade, but, you know, it's always useful. Now, let's head straight into Lund, where hopefully we're going to be able to attend the tournament. And uh, I'm going to play some bets on myself, so this way you always, like, maximize your reward. Uh, the amount of money that you can bet on yourself is actually capped, so you cannot bet, like, a thousand... Uh, Florence, whatever the currency is called, I forgot it again, but you cannot bet like the maximum amount of money on each round um, For yourself like it isn't the vanilla I think at least it used to be like that I haven't played vanilla in quite a long time and it has received a couple of updates as far as I know, but um, You know you can you can only bet a certain amount of money on yourself uh, In nano domini at least I actually have I can upgrade a couple of units here and there uh, so let's get another Spearman. How many Axemen do I have? I have five Axemen. Sounds good for the time being. I want to get uh, a few more Archers, as I mentioned in the previous episode as well. And uh, some experienced Spearman is always great. That's an upgrade for my usual Spearman. So this is Denmark, which means I'm going to be able to recruit some units there as well. Because all the Scandinavian units, except for the Finnish units, are actually the same. I cannot recruit Finnish units. Oh, I think the tournament just ended, didn't it? Yeah, there was a feast in usual in the, the feast ends, you cannot really participate in the tournament. Yeah, that, oh man, that was really unfortunate timing. So what I'm gonna be able, what I'm gonna do there, cannot really join the feast because I'm not invited, not part of this faction. Okay, so I'm gonna spend a night there, uh, have some, have a little bit of a break, uh, rest a little bit, wanna replenish my health, gain some experience as well because of my trainer. And, uh, I'm just gonna go to the arena and still check out... Oh, I can join the tournament. There you go. I wanna join the 1v1 tournament, because my army is really shit right now. And it's, you know, I cannot win against, like, an army of... I don't even know how many people these are. They're, these are, like, at least 70 people. Something like that. So, uh, yeah. Let's place a bet on myself. I'm gonna do that every round. Hopefully, I'm gonna be able to win my equipment. Oh, press the wrong key. Yeah, I, my equipment is very bad at the moment, 
So I just gotta play it smart and I gotta rely on my skill. Basically what I do in these tournaments is I try and knock off my opponent's force. So these battles are gonna actually take a while probably. But I try and um, take out their horse first and then I just fight them off with my horse back and you know take him out like that. Um, it's you know a little bit abusing the game mechanics but if you want to succeed in this game you gotta do that do that every now and then and still the possibility of me actually losing the tournament is big and I can lose quite a few uh, oh damn you just knocked me off see yeah I can still lose I just gotta rely on my speed now and just basically hit him stay there you go okay so I oh, I lost that Okay, that, uh, that's normal. Didn't really expect that. Doesn't happen too often, but I think that's one of my guys. They can also sign up for the tournament, so that's basically a free win for me. Yeah, that's one of my. Uh, he's part of my war band, so yeah, that's basically a free win for me, which is always great. Oh, is that the same guy, or is it like another guy from my war band? Yeah, yeah, that was the other guy. Okay, these are two free victories, which is great. So yeah, I can, uh, I can only place 500 on, on... What? They're all gonna sign up and just give me free victories like that? I'm really abusing the game mechanics right now. Man, that's great. Three victories, so now I'm like... Yeah, I'm the leader on the scoreboard. Oh, this guy's actually got four victories. Well, after I defeat him, hopefully, gotta be able to get a better result. Ooh, what? Really? Okay, then I think I just lost my chances to win. That's never good. I Don't know if I should be using this lens. It's just really bad This guy's horse is pretty tough, so He's gonna take a beating. I'm not just gonna give up, but it usually goes better but better I, I I just think I'm not you know, I'm not fully prepared for this yet. I Haven't been playing this character for a very long time. I've been playing him just for the series, as you can probably see. So, you know, it's not the greatest character I've ever had. And I usually win these tournaments and it's like free money for me. Oh man, this guy's gonna take a beating as well. I'm I, only thing that I can I can hope for is for this guy that has like just one loss, like the leader of the scoreboard right now. I just I I, I can just hope for him to lose. So I can equalize him. Four He's got five wins. Oh man, that's I. I don't think that's ever happened to me before. So I gotta win this. What it? You know, he's gotta lose it as well. Which is, it's a random chance when the other guys fight. But I gotta make sure I win as many battles as possible. See, this guy's horse took more than a hundred damage before it went down. These were good hits though. I'm not hitting him with with my lance because these my lance is gonna break from a shield once he actually blocks my. Uh, my strike so that's why I'm not doing that because it's basically pointless just gotta try and uh, once again just abuse the game mechanics that's actually the I don't think there's a better way of winning tournaments than simply doing that um, yeah just the mod gives you a little bit of an opportunity to get some free money every now and then but as you can see you can still fail uh, these tournaments are usually easy, but my character has really crap equipment right now, so it's really possible for me to lose. It happens every now and then. I lose a couple of tournaments. Um, if I lose this one, I'm just gonna... He actually hit me for zero. That's interesting. But yeah, if I'm just gonna head to a different tournament and hopefully do better there. There you go. Hopefully the other guy lost. He's been extremely lucky. I've got five victories. He's got five victories. And I think that counts as a win for me. Does it? Yeah, there you go. That's so much money. I'm really happy about that. Still, I was able to win. Somehow. I don't usually lose two times. Especially in a row like that. But um, I don't know if they were in a row. But still, I lost two times. Which uh, generally shouldn't happen. Because that decreases your chances of winning by a very big margin. First of all, let me buy a real helmet. Because this thing looks bad and that's all i can say about it i have this blonde hair and blue uh blue really and blonde beer as well and when i wear this it just all disappears so i want to i want to have a helmet that at least like doesn't change my hair and stuff i can buy this one a normal a norman Hel helmet that's like 
typical Viking thing. The Vikings actually wore this, and since we're trying to make a Viking character, I'm gonna buy this. I have about, I have actually a lot of money, so I can buy some better stuff. Um, I think that's all I'm gonna buy for like armor and stuff like that. I can buy these things. Oh, that's actually a good price for this. So yeah, I'm gonna know that it's really useful. Plus, it only gives me like three armor, but still, it's something. It's an upgrade. So. Uh, that's good. So so far I spent five thousand. I can spend six thousand more, um, and these are basically my winnings from the tournament. So that's that. I can sell these things, although they're like so cheap. Oh, I gotta have bar throw too. So I already have javelins. I think I just leveled up, so I'm gonna be able to level level it up. Um, let's go to arms and try and find a better sword, if possible. And I really also want some something like that the sax looks very tempting but i don't know if i'm gonna buy it it's kind of too expensive right now mm, i don't know should i just go for a better horse well i'm not using horses as much so i think i'm just gonna go for the sax i you know once again my idea of like being a real viking is having a sword a shield um, a two-handed axe and um, four or five javelins that I can carry with me. This uh, I can actually invest in a better shield, but I don't see anything that's better than mine here except for this. But it it's a cavalry shield. Um, it's not very Viking-like. And once again, we're going for like the the general like Viking image on my character. So that's the majority of my money gone, and I still want to go to the arena. Oh, the arena is locked right now. Well. Okay, let's uh, let's spend some time uh, around the city. And uh, was the arena arena locked? No idea. Okay, there we go. So I want to go to another tournament and just be able to. Um... Oh, there you go, Vilnius. I think this is in Norway as well. Bordeaux, Paris. Uh, so this is in France. Uh, well, which one is like the closest? This one is the whole is in the Holy Roman Empire, so I can go there. This is in Russia, and it's not like we're at war with the with the Russians. So right now, I cannot really go there. But I think I believe this is somewhere in Scandinavia. I could be mistaken, but I think it is. So I'm gonna go for another for another tournament because why not? You know, I can. Uh... Oh, it's it's actually in Denmark. That's extremely close, so we'll be stupid and not go there. So yeah, another tournament shortly after I, I won this one. Hopefully it's gonna go better. This time I'm not gonna lose a single battle, hopefully. Uh, because now I have better equipment, I can use my two-handed axe. It's actually gonna be a lot more useful. One-on-one -on -one tournament, the biggest bet I can place on myself. And uh, let's go for this. Ooh, this guy's scary. Good thing this this weapon actually does more damage to me, not to me, but to my opponents. Oh, he can actually hit me. Cannot really block it. Oh, I actually hit him for like 40. But yeah, I'm going for the same strategy. Just knock off his horse and just kill him from your horse back. That's generally strategy that works every time. There you go. His horse is dead. See how much damage this axe does? That's why I bought it. It's it's an amazing axe. I don't usually use two-handed weapons in like uh, when I'm like when I'm fighting normal battles, but for tournaments and stuff like that, it's actually gonna be very useful. So I don't think I'm actually gonna lose a single battle now that I have this equipment. This guy is easy again. He's from a warband. I don't know why it allows these guys to sign up for the tournament because it basically gives me a free win. I never equip these guys because I just find it useless. They cannot really die. They can only get useless. Um, useless? I mean wounded. Sorry, I'm tired. Uh, can't really talk. But yeah, they, they can only get wounded and then they're gonna just... Their health is gonna replenish in a little bit. So I don't see any use of, you know, giving them like equipment and spending money on them generally. Uh, I guess they can gain experience in battle faster this way, but... Um, I don't think it's it's like it's worth it. There we go, three free victories. I don't think there was anyone else that hasn't lost yet. Oh, this guy's lost four times. Look at that. 
Um, yeah, I'm the only one with four victories, which is great. And once again, I'm hopefully, probably not gonna lose anything this time. So this guy's horse is tough, but my axe does so much damage that it just shouldn't be a problem. Look at that, it took like 120 damage. Yeah. So, oh, that missed, really? I'm not, I'm not like the best player, but I have quite, quite a lot of experience with this game. I've played it for quite a while, so at least I'm not gonna miss easy hits. Well, I just let the guy hit me, so that's not good. He's got a lot more health than I do, and if he knocks off my horse, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult for me. Yeah, there you go. He's down. I don't think I can lose at this point. And... Oh, I missed. If you get like the first shot, I mean the first hit, it's not a shot, it's a hit. But if you get the first hit, there was like, you do the most damage this way. Cause uh, like the faster you move, the more damage you're gonna do, which is, you know, logical. Oh, look at that. I'm, I can actually lose this if he hits me one more time. I missed this. I'm, I'm not playing really well today, but you know, uh, once again, I'm tired, so might make some mistakes oh i blocked it somehow okay and he's dead i was not really dead you just knock him off but still and six victories is that gonna be my seventh victory oh that i didn't actually play that well i didn't swing in the right direction and again i'm taking some damage well it should have been easier but i'm still winning so Abusing game mechanics at its finest, basically getting free money from these tournaments. That's a really good way of, you know, um, gaining money. It really it doesn't matter if it's early game or like, it doesn't matter which level your character is. That's a really, really easy way of earning money. As far as I can remember in the vanilla, you couldn't really do that. Like, uh, it's a little bit harder to win tournaments. And I think you win like less money from winning one, but you can like lose more money on uh, betting on yourself. So I won another tournament that's gonna be a lot more money for me. And I think I'm gonna finish this episode here. I'm gonna recruit one guy, and I guess in the next episode I'm gonna go shopping again, buy better armor, I guess, and stuff like that. So yeah, this went extremely well. Uh, exactly what I was hoping for. So yeah, that's going to be it, and uh, see you next time. Goodbye.